Okay, everyone, and welcome to another quick take video today. Well, yeah, today again, I guess, because I already posted another video this morning. Anyways, um, in this video, we're going to be looking at Aristocrat Leisure Company. Um, now, if any one of you have uh, been to a casino in Australia or maybe even overseas, um, played the pokies machine, these guys most likely would have made it. So they um, they make those pokies machine that you find at Australian pubs and bars, Australian casinos, and possibly abroad also. Um, so the way uh, I came across this company when I was um, at a pub with my stepfather and he was playing the pokey and I kind of noticed, I just kind of wonder, like, um, who made it? Someone must have made it because one, it's, it's a machine that takes money, so it's, um, it, you know, it's, it, there will definitely be someone out there making this, so, you know, everything is made by someone, uh, or company, so I just thought, oh, who made it, so Aristocrat makes it, and they are listed on the stock exchange, which is, you know, fantastic, so uh, I had a quick look, and um, we'll get to that later, so let's do the analysis of the company first. All right, so go straight to ratios. So this one here is a little bit different because it's I've um, I've actually already researched this and I already bought into this company. So, but I'm just doing the analysis again. So then, um, just to update myself and anyone else who's following uh, this series. Cool. So ratios, uh, we got P ratio 78. So again, high P, P ratio, we're expecting, um, a pr as we're paying a premium, so expecting a high return in the future. Uh, industry is 28, so it's higher than the industry. Um, I believe it pays a little bit dividend. Um, yes, so it pays very little dividend. Um, but, you know, nevertheless, it's um, better than the banks. Um, okay. Uh, so quick ratio is 2.25, so we've got plenty of cash, and I, I already know this because I already looked at the financial, but um, yeah, if you've seen some of my other videos, a lot of the companies I looked at actually don't have a quick ratio, so this one was um, quite nice to actually have a quick ratio to look at. All right, moving on, straight on to cash flow. Um, now I got that loaded there, so that's fine. <coughs> um, all right, so cash flow, annual. And uh, that's one billion dollars in operating um, uh, cash. Uh, so it's obviously making a lot of money, and and you can see the trend there: seven, seven, no, eight hundred million, nine hundred million, one billion. It's a little bit less than last year, just because I'm uh, the year before two thousand nineteen with in two thousand twenty one now. Um, because um, Victoria and a lot of Australia and a lot of the world, uh, unfortunately, some of the other parts of the world were not locked down. But Australia and Victoria was in a hard lockdown for six months. Um, so that would have affected um, the operating um, cash flow a little bit. But um, nevertheless, this is a tremendous uh, amount of money to actually get from operation. Um, investment, so they're investing uh, in something. Um, and financing, so they are borrowing money. Now, um, I don't like it when uh, companies borrow money uh, because you got to pay back on the pay back the debt and also the interest on the debt. Um, but um, you know, possibly look into why this particular company um, borrow uh, six hundred million dollars. Okay, but the net change in cash is almost a billion dollars. So. Uh, but you can see here that billion dollars is from operating activities. All right, so moving right along, let's have a look at the balance sheet. Mm -hmm. All right, cool, balance sheet. So, uh, so current asset is like you can see the current asset just shoots straight up, you know. Um, you know, from 1.7 billion to 2.5 billion. And cash, we were looked at that, and um, current liability is only what? Um, current liability is 1 billion, so it definitely can have enough cash to last for the year. And uh, total asset there, total liabilities, equity. 
Okay, again, moving right along, let's have a look at the income statement. Mm -hmm. Cool, uh, income statement. We, um, all right, so total revenue is $4 billion. And when we look at the net income, uh, net income is, um, it's doubled. It's doubled, it's almost doubled. So that's why it kind of grabbed my attention so much. I mean, um, gambling is, um, we're kind of gambling here with the stock market. So, um, but I'm not excusing uh, the, some of the uh, possibly predatory kind of practices um, some of these companies like gambling companies uh, do to get the customers to come back, uh, you know, but uh, it, you got to keep it in the scheme of things that um, by investing in stock, we're also gambling. And, um, and the way that I see it is that it is something it, you got to think of it when you're doing business, you got to think of it in 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 the term of a business, you got to look at it in business as it sells a product It's not an illegal product, right? it is regulated. And, uh, it, you know, and, and there are help for people who have gambling problem. Anyway, we're moving too far ahead into that side of thing. But um, uh, I'm quite comfortable with investing in a um, like um, slot machine company. But I'm not comfortable with, let's say, investing in a cigarette company, right? So there's there's a fine a ethical fine line that I would love to discuss with anyone um, who willing to have a discussion. But anyway, so let's get back to the financial. Anyway, you got to look at the um, what is it the, the the commerce, the commercial side of these businesses because they and they like my 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 stepfather. He 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 actually goes to the pokies to kind of like just relax a little bit. So they do serve uh, a, a beneficial side. Obviously, you, there's people who get involved in a lot of gambling and go and rack up debt, and that's not good for them. Um, but all in all, it is something that uh, is a legitimate business. It's not um, nothing that uh, that is not illegitimate or legal. Let's leave it there. But um, we could have a discussion about the ethical side of investing another time. Right, um, yes, so net income uh, is, has almost doubled there. So that's a good sign uh, for the company. And that's, that's uh, pretty much that for um, the financial. Let's jump straight into the chart. All right, so we're back in trading view and um, it retraced a little bit and it retraced around the 78% mark, which is, uh, you know, it's always a good thing to see a retracement uh, follow so nicely with the Fibonacci. Um, the other thing is that um, you can see that it's kind of sitting on this uh, resistance here. Okay, so it's sitting on that resistance there and um, it, it, you know, I bought it around this, so I am down, but by a few percent, uh, just because I bought a really small amount of um, shares, and and the commission uh, eats into that, so it raises the, the my purchasing price up. So it, it hasn't reached um, uh, the previous high that it was, uh, so let's just zoom straight out and have a look at this particular company. Uh, so that's the previous high and hasn't reached that. Uh, so there's still definitely um, opportunity here for us to like um, uh, to continue. So you can see uh, June, July 18, it, it went down, but it went back up again. And this is the, the, the pandemic when it hits. So uh, what really attracted me is a few things. One, look at that, um, the net income. So that's net income. Net income increased dramatically. And, and when you look at a company and you say like, wow, you know, um, when you see that kind of net income, you're kind of like, you're going to have get a little bit excited. And and that kind of coincided with this part here. I'm not sure. What, I think this is the, the second lockdown in Victoria. But anyway, so I'm not too sure about this part. Um, yes, so it's always great to see a company making money because um, 
you know, depending on who you ask, but the 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 main reason for a company's existence is to bring value to its customers, and money will come in with the uh, value. Or certain other people, more pragmatic people, would say that the point of a business is to actually make money, and um, you know, if it is provide. But the way I see it, if it's providing value, then is then the people will pay for that value, so the money should, is guaranteed. That's why you're always trying to find company that actually continually bring value to its customers. And and in if you would like to open your own business, and something that I would like to do in the future is to open my own business, then the, the thing you want to focus on is like what value can you bring to your customers. Um, Yes, so what it's saying there is that um, the the products or the services this particular company is providing to its customers bring some t- sort of value to them. Entertainment value, nevertheless. Um, I'm not saying it's the best entertainment, um, and it can be a quite destructive entertainment, but then, in, in the, again, in the perspective, in, in, in cases like my stepfather, it does bring him some entertainment value that um you know that is uh you know um quite um comforting uh, at his age so um you know he uh, obviously again we're going back to that ethical uh, dilemma is like should you invest in these kind of type of companies uh, and again we'll leave that for another day uh yes so again money is going up that is great um so I thought, hey, all right, what else do I need to quickly check to make sure that um, uh, so that uh, it's time to buy? So I looked at the Mac Day, and it's also looking good. I, I kind of missed this part, but um, you know it, it's still on quite early. So I think I, I still got a good chance of getting some money back. I only put a minimum in, five, minimum at um, the, the brokerage firm I'm with is um, $500. So it's not a lot of money, but um, I just want to kind of, um, that's the other thing that I will talk about, um, why I'd invest in these ones. Um, yeah. So yes, so I'm catching it at this point, and I thought, hey, you know, like let's test out some of my um, theories and um, the, the things that I learned. One, uh, net income increase. Two, it's kind of forming this little, um, very small. No, sorry, it's forming this big. Oh no, my bad. That's a V shape. So that's not cup and uh, hold uh, cup and handle and. And this one here might not be a cup in hand either, actually. Um, but yes, MACD um, and this income. So I just want to test those two to see if it, um, it's a, these are good indicators. And net income is you know always a good thing. You know, if, you're, if the company is making money, it's going to increase its asset um, and share value. So um, all in all, I invested a very small amount uh, in the company and uh, it's a minimum and uh, we'll see what I'm expecting is that for the company to bounce from this point to here 37 so 31 dollars so 37 so that's six dollars divided by 31 oh, six divided by 31 times 100 so 20 percent all right. If it really reached twenty percent, I'll be stoked because I only put five hundred dollars in. So five hundred twenty percent times zero point two. Uh, so that's a hundred dollars. Um, now, the point here is that um, I'm trying to accumulate a little bit more capital for uh, bigger investments. So this is not meant to be a long term hold. Uh, um, you know, depending on how it goes. Um, so yes. So so that's what. Uh, and, and the strategy that my exit strategy is once it reached to um, possibly around this this area, this area I'm going to take out my initial 500 in investment and kind of leave the rest there so leave a hundred dollars in there and see where it goes um, again that comes back to like a zero risk investment so that's the plan uh, for this particular company and um, yes so um, what I'm also doing is a, a, a separate playlist where I kind of update you guys on uh, my investment, um, my investment journey, 
I already started investing, but this particular one is like, I'll call it a thousand dollar challenge where I have a thousand dollars or thereabout um, and I invested and I kind of update um, you guys uh, how it goes. And this is uh, real. Uh, there's no trickery and think if I lose money, I will say, hey, look, I lost money and stuff like that in this particular. So I, I continue to update. So it's meant to be more of a trading thing rather than investing thing. Um, so that's a separate playlist that I will create. Um, so um, today I bought two separate companies, each of them worth around $500 per company, uh, $500 worth of shares per company. And that's that's my two companies that I will start off with in my $1,000 challenge. And, and I'll, have, I'll talk about that in, uh, in the $1,000 challenge video series. All right, I hope you guys, again, um, whatever I say here is not meant to be a financial advice on to any capacity. Uh, if you don't, uh, if you're not sure what you need to do, please do your own research and ask financial advisor if you need to. Uh, the other thing is, um, if you like what you see, uh, please like, comment. Um, if you have anything to discuss, um, in particular, for this particular video is the ethic uh, the ethical side to investing, uh, please also comment that. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. I'm not, I'm, I'm prepared. Uh, you know, I'm, you know, I'm quite enthusiastic in discussing these kind of issue because um, sometimes it comes up, and and you, you know, and in caught in the moment, you don't really think about it, and and you know, when you have time to have talk to someone and think about it, I think uh, there's, um, you know, we all can learn and grow. Anyway, so um, yes, so there's a lot more ethics to this particular video, which which is I'm happy to talk about um, than other videos. So. Uh, yes, so if you like what you see, share and subscribe. Uh, if you have anything you'd like to say, and uh, put down in the comment. Again, be civil. Um, we all have a lot to learn and grow, and, and think it's important that we can learn and grow together. And um, that's pretty much it. Yeah. And I hope you guys have a happy and uh, successful uh, day trading ahead. Take care.